All right, with that, uh, General Sanchez, General. The, um, the part that is tenuous is that uh, we are continuing to get uh, attacks from the insurgents that are in the city. Uh, as I stated, we suspended our offensive operations uh, to allow these discussions to go forward. And I must add that these are just initial discussions. We are not uh, negotiating at this point uh, until we uh, achieve some confidence building and a period of stability. Uh, then we would consider going into uh, significant negotiations to end this battle. Do any of the particular problems that we're facing here? It, it is always interesting to me how Al Jazeera manages to be at the scene of the crime whenever a ho hostage shows up or some other problem happens to be there. So they, are, uh, they have not been truthful in their reporting, they haven't been accurate, and uh, it, it is absolutely clear that American forces are doing their very best to protect civilians and at the same time get at the military targets there. General, this is uh, Gerson Rambrook from Agents France Press. Could you give us a little bit more detail about the... Well, the, the, the fact of the matter is that some of them did very well and some of them did not. And in the South, a uh, number of units, both in the police force and also in the ICDC, did not stand up to the intimidators of uh, the forces of Sutter's militia, and that was a great disappointment to us. And clearly, we've got to work on the Iraqi security. Lujia are uh, fairly uh, straightforward. Uh, we've been... Uh, uh, Najaf, as we all know, is a, is a holy city with a holy shrine there. And uh, we are respecting the fact that uh, there was a religious uh, celebration ongoing. Uh, we have maneuvered forces uh, down into the vicinity of Najaf to ensure that we are prepared to conduct uh, uh, offensive operations to eliminate the final uh, elements of uh, Muqtar al-Sadr influence down there. Here, where we're taking fire from and where we're taking fire from, where uh, that uh, Muqtar al-Sadr is isolating himself. This was not by any stretch of the imagination a Shia uprising. And it's a combination of some military action on our part, but probably much more importantly, very, very important Shia political action that's isolating him and showing people out there uh, that a person such as Muqtada Sadr, who's anti-democratic and attacks the people of Iraq and their institutions won't be tolerated. We're applying the military force necessary to uh, assist. Clearly, there are indications from intelligence folks that there are uh, some Iranian activities going on that are unhelpful, as the Secretary put it. He's absolutely right. And there's also unhelpful actions coming from Syria. But on the other hand, uh, with regard to the Iranians, there are elements within Iran that are urging patience and calm and uh, trying to limit the influence of Sutter. So, it's a complicated situation, but what we need is all of the nations around Iraq to participate in uh, calming the situation and assisting with uh, a, a sovereign and stable government emerging. Modify uh, the program. Training and restoring credibility of the Iraqi security forces. Is that becoming a 